New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, welcome, Mustas. Hey, subscribers of this channel, if you haven't heard already, my first episode of Hola Como Estas is now available on NYY News TV. Type it in YouTube, NYY News TV. Check it out. It's a mix of talking Yankees. For some reason, when I say that, I think it's like copywritten or something because that uh, name is already taken. But, you know, talking about the Yankees in a mix of comedy, sketches, entertainment. It's a fun, fun radio show slash podcast. Check it out. So, Uncle Steve continues to bully Hal. You know, the only reason why the Mets hired Eric Chavez as their new hitting coach was to mess with Hal. Steve Cohen is making it known that he's the new king of New York. And realistically, when you have somebody as soft as Hal, New York is there for the taking. I know a lot of fans don't like it when the boss is brought up. But we all know fans who are alive... To witness George Steinbrenner, how he handled the Yankees, we know for a fact that things like that wouldn't happen. And sure, you might say the Mets gave him a better job. Who wouldn't do that? The Yankees gave him what? Uh, assistant hitting coach or something like that? The Mets said, hey, here, be a real hitting coach. Here's the job. But we all know that was purposely done because the Yankees signed uh, Luis Rojas for that third base coach gig. And it seems that uh, the Mets fired back in retaliation and basically stole away Eric Chavez from the New York Yankees. So if Hal was anything like his father, he would have took Luis Rojas and Eric Chavez would have stayed as assistant hitting coach. But you know, it's good for New York City baseball. We finally have a little cold war happening. It's not very cold as Steve Cohen has <laughs> made it be known that he's not going to play around. How has been missing in action, but who knows after the lockout if the Yankees are going to come back and return punches. Hopefully so, as a lot of Yankees fans would like a Carlos Correa on the New York Yankees. As for Eric Chavez, I was a huge fan of his back when he was playing with the Oakland A's. I've said this numerous times that um, Eric Chavez to me was the original Nolan Arenado. Obviously, Arenado has surpassed him, but in his prime, Eric Chavez was as good as Nolan Arenado. What Steve Cohen is doing right now, it reminds me of when the Nets moved to Brooklyn. And they started signing a whole bunch of superstars, you know, making the Knicks be irrelevant. And, you know, I'm a Knicks fan. I'll never cheer for the Nets, but that's another story. But it, it reminds me of that as Cohen is just making it be known, hey, I have a whole bunch of money, even though I own the Mets and even though the Mets are looked down upon. Steve Cohen is going about things like, you know what, if I wanted to, I could make you guys. I, the Yankees would never become irrelevant, but that's his mindset. I could make you guys become irrelevant. I could take some of your fans away. And trust me, there's some weirdo type fans out there that would switch teams. You know, when you see them in the stands wearing a Mets and Yankees hat, uh, two logos on the front. Yeah, those type of fans. I mean, it's common sense. The Mets revenue is about a skyrocket. Attendance is about a skyrocket because Steve Cohen knows what Mets fans want. As for how, does he know what Yankees fans want? Obviously, no. I've tweeted this out before. I have said that I believe that the Yankees have a policy when it comes to ignoring the fan base, where they ignore fan chatter. It is obvious that they do. And going back to Eric Chavez, you know, him going to the Mets doesn't sting that much as he made comments after uh, the Yankees announced him as an assistant uh, hitting coach, talking about that uh, batting average does not matter as I am a huge fan of that stat. Hey, listen, I would have Tony Gwynn, Derek Jeter, etc. on my ball club before any of these guys that um, bat 200 supposedly get on base because that's an argument against the uh, average. I would have those type of guys any day. 
And you know what? It doesn't sting as much. But, um, you know, good riddance to uh, Eric Chavez. He's now behind enemy lines. I know the Mets offered him a better job, but, you know, after two weeks, the Yankees made it official. And, you know, there's no loyalty there. So, yeah, Mets could have Eric Chavez. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Remember to check out my new radio show on M1 News TV, Hola Como Estas. And make sure you guys check out Chef Talk, which is premiering tomorrow at 7 p.m. Chef Talk with Gary Sheffield Jr., the son of former Yankee, and he should be a Hall of Famer, uh, Gary Sheffield. Again, this has been Felix from MLYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.